The deformation sensors detect the external pressure applied to the object and the deformation of the object and converts it into an electrical signal. In general, optical fiber sensors, strain gauges, and piezoelectric sensors have been used for this purpose. However, the excessive brittleness of these sensors poses a risk of failure due to the breakage during operation. Therefore, it is difficult to apply to a harsh environment with high temperature, high pressure, or a complicated shape, and as a result, their application is restricted. Professor Sun Huan Zhang of Chungang University solved this problem with innovative way. 기존에 있는 센서들은 주로 이제 필름 타입의 그런 센서인데요. 그런 것들이 이제 어, 외부 충격에 의해서 찢어지거나 뭐 구멍이 뚫리거나 이제 그런 문제들이 발생할 수가 있습니다. 이제 그렇게 되면 이제 그 센서는 이제 수명이 다한 거라고 이제 봐야 되기 때문에 더 이상 이제 센서 기능을 할 수가 없습니다. 근데 이제 저희가 개발한 그 직조 센서는 어, 그런 동일한 충격이 발생을 한다고 하더라도 국부적으로 이제 파손이 발생을 해도 나머지 부분에서 여전히 센싱을 할수 있기 때문에 어, 되게 유연하면서 어, 즐기고 그런 튼튼한 어떤 그런 센서로서 역할을 할 수가 있습니다. Unlike conventional sensors, which have film shape, we developed fabric type sensors. After processing the electroactive polymer film into a ribbon shape, we weave these ribbons to develop a flexible and stretchable deformation detection sensor just like ordinary clothing. The ribbon, which is the unit of the fabric sensor, consists of two sensor parts. The first sensor part is a fibrous multi-layered structure in which electrodes are disposed on the inside and outside of the electroactive polymer PVDF. When a beta phase PVDF causes polarization through the distance between hydrogen atoms and fluorine atoms, generates electricity corresponding to external forces, the sensor transfers this to the controller through electrodes. The second sensor part, which surrounds the first sensor part like an electric coating, is made of a dielectric elastometer having flexibility and toughness properties like rubbers. This is also a sort of electroactive polymers, unlike PVDF, which responds quickly to changes in pressure and pressure. Its response rate is relatively slow, but it is very flexible and hardly breaks even under large loads. Even if one sensor part breaks due to the deformation, the remaining sensor part continuously acts as a sensor so that the dual sensing structure has high reliability. The fabric sensor is fabricated in the same way as weaving fabrics that cross the weft and warp yarns. The patterns vary depending on their purposes. The sensing point is the intersection of weft and warp, and the principle is very simple. When pressure is applied to a particular point, electricity is generated in that weft and warp, and the index coordinates can be tracked to determine where the pressure is applied. If you do not need high precision, you can mix it with ordinary fibers to maximize stretchability and economic efficiency. This technology includes a simulation technology to predict the macroscopic deformation and wrinkle generation of the fabric sensor when the fabric sensor is applied to the structure, and to estimate the suitability so that the optimum weaving pattern and installation method can be known in advance. Draping simulations have also been used to analyze the deformation patterns of fabric sensors applied to complex structures to ensure precise location of signal generation and to compensate for changes in electrical signals according to deformation patterns of fabric sensors. Fabric sensors can be applied to various structures with complex shapes because they have good drapeability and flexibility. 
The high reliability and durability of double sensors make them efficiently monitor deformation and fracture behavior of structures due to external force ranging from small mobile devices to large structures. We will provide an optimal solution. Furthermore, since the electroactive polymers applied to the sensor unit generates electricity by itself in response to physical deformation, it can be operated without external power supply. Even if the power supply is cut off due to power failure or accident, the sensing operation is not interrupted. On the other hand, the current and voltage generated in the sensing process form an electromagnetic field so that when the appropriate circuit is configured, the sensing information can be transmitted, received wirelessly. This technology has excellent advantages in structural health monitoring. It can be applied to any three-dimensional shape, so it can measure all external forces applied to the structure in various directions and measure the internal deformation precisely. It does not break, even in a big impact. Even if a part is broken, it compensates it at the surrounding sensing point, so the whole function is hardly stopped. Especially, the size of the fabric sensor can be freely adjusted, so it is not affected by the shape and the size of the structure from large area application to local application. Because it can be applied to a bent part, it can be used as a tactile sensor of a finger of humanoid robots, and it can be used as a wearable device of a general type of clothing. When applied to IoT-based clothes, beds, car seats, and so on, various applications such as body balance, posture, and heart rate measurement are possible. Fabric sensors do not require a power supply, so there is almost no chance of failure during the washing process. Uh, 그 구조 자체가 다양한 어, 물리량을 직접 측정을 해서 필요할 때그 정보를 제공해 줄수 있는 그런 스마트 스트럭처입니다. 어, 자동차를 예를 들게 되면 어, 자동차는 뭐 온도의 변화라든가 습도의 변화라든가 외부의 충격이라든가 이런 다양한 물리량의 어떤 변화에 직접적으로 노출이 되고 있는데 이런 정보들을 취합을 해서 어, 재료의 파손이라든가 어, 어떤 상태 변화 이런 것들을 적극적으로 대응할 수 있도록 그런 정보를 제공해 주는 게 매우 중요합니다. 어, 특히 4차 산업 혁명 시대에서는 요즘 웨어러블 디바이스에 되게 어, 많이들 관심을 가지고 계신데요. 어, 저희가 그 지향하고 있는 그런 센서는 어, 각종 디바이스들을 섬유 형태로 만든 다음에 여러분들이 입고 계신 옷처럼 어, 웨어러블 디바이스를 만들어서 생체 신호를 확보를 하고 어, 뭐 건강의 어떤 뭐 이상 유무를 미리 실시간으로 파악한다는 용도로도 활용할 수가 있기 때문에 그 활용 범위는 무궁무진하다고 볼 수가 있습니다. 앞으로 저희는 어, 그런 부분에서 웨어러블 디바이스 측면에서도 어, 기술 개발을 해서 좀더 유용한 그런 센서를 만들고자 노력을 하겠습니다.